Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to get that flawless base. So, before starting the video, do subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. So, without any further ado, let's get started. To achieve a flawless base, you need good skincare. So, I'm using this Mama Earth under eye cream first. Then I'm using a lip balm. And then I'm using this Pons Oil Free Moisturizer. This is a very lightweight moisturizer. It's not sticky. I'm going to apply the moisturizer on my face and neck. Leave it for 5 minutes. And then I'm going to apply my sunscreen. So right now I'm applying a minimalist sunscreen. This is slightly on the expensive side. It is a SPF 60. But it works really well for me. Next, I'm using this Faces Canada Primer. It is a pore minimizing primer. So, I'm using this on my T-zone area. And then this is what my skin looks like after skincare. Now, let's start with color corrector. You should use a color corrector to ha achieve that flawless base. If you directly apply a foundation, it's still gonna make your skin look very uneven and dull. But with color correction your skin gets into one single tone and it looks even i'm applying this under my eyes around my mouth area because that's where i have a lot of pigmentation and do not apply this like a patch try to use as minimal product possible so i'm using this only in the inner and outer corner using a damp beauty blender i'm gonna blend this out don't rub the orange corrector just blend it any corrector for that matter you shouldn't rub it you always use patting motion to blend it like i'm doing here and you should never blend the orange corrector to that extent where it's not visible so like i'm doing exactly in the video this is how much blending is needed for the corrector i'm gonna do the same on the under the eye I'm using the tip of the beauty blender to blend this. Now you can see my skin looks even and there's no discoloration. Now I'm going to start up with a Miss Claire foundation in the shade Cinnamon. I know this looks light right now but once I start blending it, it will match my skin tone. I want to talk a little about this foundation. I have been enjoying this foundation lately. I've always used the Maybelline Fit Me foundation for everyday basis. But this foundation has been like amazing. It's a medium to high coverage foundation. And it stays put throughout the day. It easily lasts up to 6 to 7 hours. So you guys can try it. And it is super affordable. Now, I generally don't apply foundation under my eyes because I have fine lines. Instead, I'm going to use this concealer from Inside Cosmetics. It is a HD concealer and it has, again, medium to buildable coverage. I'm using this around my mouth area, under the eyes, on the forehead, bridge of my nose. These are the areas that needs concealing. Let's start blending this. The Inside Cosmetic Concealer is again affordable, medium to high coverage and is very very good. This is a recent launch so you guys should give it a try and this is like a must have product. I'm blending this product under my eyes really well. Next we are gonna use a K-Beauty Translucent Powder. This is what my skin looks like after foundation and concealing. I'm using this K-Beauty Translucent Powder and setting everything really well. I'm again using a damp beauty blender to set my powder. First, I'm setting the powder under my eyes. Next, I'm setting this on my smile lines. And then, I'm gonna focus the powder first on the areas where i have a lot of pores and i'm pressing the powder really well so that the foundation does not move throughout the day after that you can apply the powder all over your face and set this that's it you guys if you like the video please do subscribe and follow me on instagram i'll be coming up with more